Um, so when I was uh, invited to be part of the panel, um, uh, a couple things that came to my mind when I started thinking about the issues of display and devotion, devotion um, were these. Uh, what this evoked for me was questions about how to display religious artifacts that clearly for someone somewhere is an object of devotion, how to negotiate acts of devotion in spaces of display, how and to what extent to teach about religion or theological issues in a museum space that includes religious objects. Um, and what does all this mean in the present age when most people are aware of other religions like never before, have come into contact and indeed are friends with people of different faiths like never before, and where notions of religious conservatism and difference resulting in various forms of violence have greater visibility in the global imaginary. And I would also add that these issues of display and devotion become that much more present in this location we call Toronto, um, which as a multicultural city, it, it's almost assured that people uh, will encounter objects from their faith in the museum space. And so, you know, these are all ideas um, that in fact, I think about all the time as a curator in a museum, uh, in a large metropolitan museum in North America. And, um, oh, not my signs. Um, and some of the solutions that museums have come up with for the display of in particular South Asian objects are, on one hand, something like this, uh, the South Asia Gallery at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Spaces that some would argue, you know, uh, present religious objects in very kind of spare and some would say sterile environments, uh, very divor divorced from their original context. And then on the other extreme, uh, exhibitions like this um, uh, up in the left hand corner is a view of an exhibit that happened at the Friedrich Sackler Gallery called Meeting God, Elements of Hindu Devotion. And even though the subject was uh, very much about um, devotion. Uh, in the gallery space, you can see they've kind of recreated a, a tree with a, a kind of roadside shrine uh, on it, evoking trees and shrines such as uh, the ones in the other photograph and acts of devotion, even though they haven't created a little statue kneeling down, it's what they're evoking in that space. Um, and there's been debates on either sort of extreme uh, about the appropriateness of either one. And neither really feels like a good solution, does it? Um, it achieves certain things, uh, but not others. And in some cases, these kinds of Disney-like recreations always seem to fall short in a space like a museum, uh, even though that they try to kind of recreate some sort of originary context. So, um, in many ways, um, uh, I also want to say that, you know, as a curator of South Asian art, uh, I very much claim that I don't curate religion. And I'm sort of steadfast about that. Um, uh, in fact, I refuse to say that I curate religion. Um, and I try to avoid the topic as much as possible. Um, and I'm saying this uh, partly, you know, sort of in jest, but also in part to be kind of deliberately provocative, uh, because I am, in fact, deeply sensitive that even though I don't claim to curate religion, the curatorial choice that I make impacts how religion is represented with the objects in the space. 